Nicole Vignola. Rewire. Break the cycle. Alter your thoughts and create lasting change. Do you often find yourself trapped in a loop of self-doubt, convinced that you're not good enough? Do you repeatedly fixate on a negative narrative about yourself, wishing you could change it? If these thoughts resonate, it's no surprise. Many people struggle with ingrained habits and beliefs that hold them back from reaching their fullest potential. But what if it's not too late to change? What if you could reprogram your mind to break free from these patterns and build a better version of yourself? This Blink to Rewire by Nicole Vignola offers a compelling solution grounded in the latest neuroscience. It will help you understand why you're subconsciously programmed to repeat certain habits and show you how you can alter any behavior to align with the person you aspire to be. You'll learn about the science behind neuroplasticity and find some practical neurohacks for breaking your bad habits, forming good ones, and ultimately seeing yourself in a new light. You can alter the structure of your brain. Neuroplasticity reveals a fascinating capability of your brain to morph and adapt in response to life's myriad influences, transforming through repetitive input and interaction. This brain flexibility allows for the strengthening of certain neural pathways, much like a frequently traveled path evolves from a simple trail into a major highway. This dynamic underpins the powerful, albeit subconscious, scripts that often dictate people's lives, such as ingrained self-doubt or habitual behaviors that unfold without their conscious decision. Historically, it was believed that the brain's adaptability wanes significantly with age, but contemporary research shows that even in later years, while challenging, the brain's capacity for change remains robust. This plasticity isn't only a feature, but a fundamental aspect of brain function, facilitating learning, the unlearning of detrimental habits and adaptation to new experiences. Even in the microcosm of molecular structures, the brain exhibits a readiness to forge new synapses, vital points of communication between neurons where neurotransmitters exchange information, enabling you to rewire your mental framework. Fascinatingly, this plasticity also means that you're not irrevocably bound to your current mental state or behavior. Just as pathways can be strengthened, they can also be weakened. This dual capability of your brain empowers you to dismantle unhelpful or unwanted patterns of thought and behavior. Understanding this can fundamentally alter your approach to personal growth and autonomy, encouraging a proactive stance toward mental and emotional health. This insight into the workings of the brain underscores a liberating truth. You hold significant control over the shaping of your mental landscape. By consciously directing which thoughts and behaviors you choose to repeat, you influence the physical structure of your brain, promoting changes that align with your desired self-image and life trajectory. So the brain isn't just an organ of thought, but a tool for continuous self-improvement and adaptation, enabling you to lead a life marked by deeper fulfillment and control. This realization invites a shift in perspective from a passive experience of life to an active, deliberate engagement with your internal and external world, harnessing your brain's inherent adaptability to foster genuine transformation. The easiest way to rewire your brain is to pay attention to your information diet. The information you consume daily, particularly through social media and other media forms like TV shows and magazines, significantly shapes your perceptions and self-image. These channels often promote unrealistic expectations regarding appearances and achievements which can impact your mental health. Fortunately, you have the power to choose what you consume, enabling you to focus on content that inspires rather than detracts from your self-worth. Surveys and studies highlight the effect social media has on your emotional well-being. For instance, many teenagers feel excluded when they see social events they weren't invited to on social platforms. Additionally, young adults who spend over two hours daily on social media report feeling more socially isolated than those who spend less time. Extended use is also linked to increased depressive symptoms and anxiety. Using electronic devices before sleep, a common habit for many, correlates with poor sleep quality. 
To counter these negative impacts, you can unfollow or mute social media accounts that foster self-doubt or unhappiness. This proactive approach helps manage the influence social media has on your mental state. Remember that not all content will affect you negatively. So be selective and tune into how specific content makes you feel, maintaining control over your digital interactions. Transitioning from sleep to wakefulness is a critical time for your brain. During this period, your brain moves from slower wave activity to more alert frequencies, creating a unique state conducive to creativity and meditation. But immediately checking your phone when you wake up disrupts this valuable brain state, propelling you into a cycle of seeking instant gratification, which can dominate your day and detract from your productivity and interpersonal interactions. By resisting the urge to dive into your phone first thing in the morning, you preserve this relaxed, contemplative state, setting a positive tone for the day. This practice fosters a peaceful start and also enhances your capacity for mindfulness and reflection. This results in a more focused and intentional approach to your day's challenges. Being mindful of the media you consume and how you start your day profoundly influences your mental health and overall life satisfaction. By curating your media intake and embracing a morning routine devoid of digital interference, you harness the power of your brain's plasticity, promoting a more resilient and empowered self. Changing habits is about discipline, not motivation. How often do you start a new habit, only to see your resolve wane by week three? It's a common struggle. At first, motivation and the novelty of change keep you going, but soon your brain defaults to its old ways. Imagine your brain as a vast, open field. Your new habits are like a dirt path, barely visible. In contrast, your old habits are a well-trodden path, complete with streetlights and flower beds. To change, you have to build that new path, laying down concrete blocks and planting flowers, making it inviting and easier to follow. But when you get tired or distracted, your brain will naturally gravitate back to the familiar path. Pushing through these boundaries is essential for success in changing habits. It's normal to feel like giving up when things get tough. This tendency to revert to comfort, even when it's harmful, is why people stay in toxic relationships or repeat patterns of abuse. Knowing that you'll feel like quitting empowers you to keep going, relying on discipline rather than fleeting motivation. Motivation fades, but discipline keeps you on track. Understanding this helps you focus on consistency and perseverance, knowing that things will get easier with time. Your brain expends a lot of energy when you're trying to make new changes, so you might need to simplify your schedule and clear your mental clutter. Prioritizing good sleep is essential because it's your biggest tool for optimizing brain function. Sleep consolidates new memories and learning. Without enough sleep, you're more likely to fall back into old patterns of negative thinking and irritability. It's a double whammy. You miss out on storing new information, and your brain is less able to function optimally. Remember, your brain is plastic, not elastic. Change isn't a straight line. Many people panic when they miss a day or feel like they've fallen off the wagon. But your brain doesn't snap back to its old state like an elastic band. Perfection isn't the goal. Often, the desire to do things perfectly hinders progress or stops people from starting at all. As the saying goes, perfect is the enemy of good. Progress can be slow and imperceptible, but every small change and effort counts. Take a moment to appreciate your journey. You're doing the work, and that's more than many can say. Trust that all your efforts, no matter how small, are making a difference. The gap between your triggers and responses is growing, even if you have setbacks. This doesn't mean you've reverted to your old self. Your brain's programming is still there, and it doesn't disappear overnight. Trust yourself and the process. Your progress is real, even if you can't see it yet. Keep moving forward one step at a time. You don't need to be fearless to be brave. Your brain has a fundamental need to feel in control and safe, even when this impulse leads to decisions that aren't in your best interest. 
Self-sabotage is a fear-based response that maintains the status quo, associating familiarity with safety despite potential negative outcomes. This mechanism explains why individuals from abusive backgrounds may find themselves repeating harmful patterns and why some continuously enter toxic relationships. It's what the brain recognizes and deems safe. Choosing a known negative outcome is often perceived as less risky than venturing into the unknown. This aversion to uncertainty can manifest in behaviors like seeking advice yet disregarding it rationalizing actions instead of facing the need for change and engaging in procrastination and perfectionism. These forms of self-sabotage not only prevent personal growth but also perpetuate a cycle of shame. Your brain prefers to operate within familiar boundaries where it feels easier than stepping into the unfamiliar, where real change occurs. But here's the thing. Transformative growth happens in the realm of discomfort in the challenging spaces between intention and action. Embracing discomfort is essential as it's here that you build new synaptic pathways and experience personal growth. Self-sabotage is rooted in an underestimation of your capabilities and a preference for known outcomes over unknown possibilities. Taking inspiration from elite athletes like tennis player Novak Djokovic, who acknowledges his fears but chooses to compete despite them, illustrates a powerful shift in perspective. It's not about eliminating fear, but about using it as a catalyst for action. This approach doesn't remove fear, but transforms it into a driving force for courage and determination. The aim is to act bravely in the face of fear rather than to become fearless. When you do this, you change yourself and also inspire others. The acknowledgement that darkness exists within the challenges of life doesn't deter you. Instead, it teaches you to be the light within that darkness. This shift is about changing behavior and reframing your understanding of fear and discomfort as opportunities for personal transformation. By doing so, you can step out of your comfort zone and into a life marked by growth and resilience, earning the respect and admiration of others for your courage. Engaging in challenging tasks creates a more sustainable dopamine reward system. Dopamine, a neurotransmitter linked to motivation and pleasure-seeking behaviors, plays a critical role in how you pursue activities that make you feel good. This pursuit of pleasure can drive you toward tasks that yield positive outcomes, such as studying hard to achieve good grades or engaging in hobbies that enhance your health. But when the drive for reward becomes excessive, it can spiral into addiction, especially with activities that provide intense rewards like drug abuse or binge eating. The concept of instant gratification, where immediate pleasure is prioritized over long-term rewards, significantly influences dopamine levels and the brain's reward system. Activities like scrolling through social media, excessive video gaming, or indulging in fast food provide quick dopamine boosts with little effort. Although these activities aren't inherently negative, their overuse can lead to a swift and intense dopamine release, creating a cycle of dependency without substantial effort. For those who frequently rely on instant gratification, the brain's reward system becomes disrupted. Over time, baseline dopamine levels shift, necessitating more dopamine to feel motivated. This shift can lower overall motivation and desensitize the brain's reward pathways, making it challenging to engage in activities that require more effort and patience, such as exercising or pursuing long-term goals. Recognizing the impact of these rapid dopamine surges is essential, especially for individuals prone to low motivation. The false sense of motivation from quick dopamine hits is fleeting, often leading to a rapid decline in enthusiasm and a harder crash. To counteract this, engaging in activities that increase dopamine sustainably is vital. Examples include exercise, cold water baths, drawing or cooking. These activities require effort and provide a more stable and lasting increase in dopamine levels. Cold water exposure, for instance, can increase dopamine by about 250%, with effects lasting up to three hours. Such activities help maintain a healthier dopamine system and prevent the rapid spikes that lead to tolerance and addiction. 
Maintaining a balanced exposure to rewarding activities is essential to avoid these negative outcomes, which can spiral into anxiety and depression. Ultimately, by understanding the mechanics of dopamine and the effects of instant gratification, you can better manage your motivation and engagement in long-term goals. This understanding empowers you to make healthier choices, enhancing your ability to pursue activities that support sustainable happiness and fulfillment.